Hey, so, um, long time no vlog. Should probably face this way for the light. Um, yeah, so, there is a ton that needs to be addressed with my film. I guess it's not, I mean, I don't know. I'll start from the beginning. So, first it started off with writer's block. And then it, I've always kind of had this uneasy feeling from the beginning about moving forward with the people I was going to be making the film with. And I'm thinking that I'm not liking the direction that my movie is going in. And I want to, it, it just doesn't sound like me anymore, which isn't good. If I'm making a film and I want it to sound like me, I ha I've made a lot of like changes based on it's my first film. It doesn't have to be this. Like I don't have to say this in this film. I can say it in the next one. And well, that was okay for the first like two or three big changes it's just it's gotten out of control to the point where I'm not I'm making a completely different movie from what I had originally wanted and it's just not my movie anymore so I'm <laughs> I originally started writing last year in August last week of August was the moment that I kind of decided that that was the direction that I wanted to take with my film or I knew the direction that I wanted to take with the film and how I wanted the ending to go and I had a lot of concrete ideas about the film and the last week of August was that time that I figured that out. Now it is almost August again and it's been a year of rewriting which is just sort of it sucks that I've rewritten so much of it and I think it was a good process I learned a lot I I feel like I keep learning the same lessons over and over again but this time I've learned it with business and it's difficult to learn that lesson of who to trust and that you should really trust yourself and your gut when it comes to your vision and I've had a lot of people tell me that it's okay to you know make changes for other people when you have producers or um, consultants that you have them there for a reason and you want to hear what they have to say and incorporate that into your work. And I definitely believe that that could be true for a lot, but it's just not for this, not this much. So, I'm going back to the drawing board, and I'm 90% sure that I still want to make this movie. I feel really passionate about the message. Um, I'm, I've been kind of over <laughs> my script for a while, which has contributed a lot to the writer's block, and every time I've had meetings about the script, it just I've been feeling really uninspired. So I'm hoping that I've taken... A, a good break <laughs> from it and I'm really hoping that now within the next week I mean I have like I have a week kind of off from doing any real work and next week I'm going down to Woods Hole again to do the film festival which will be awesome I'm hoping that, that really like kind of reinvigorates me which <laughs> it never does I always come back a zombie but it, in a good way totally good way <laughs>
so we'll just kind of see how things go within the next couple of weeks. I've thought a lot about aspects of the film that I want and I've been living my movie strangely which has kind of sucked but that's what happens when you base something off of your life. It was weird it like I based it off of certain little events that happened and the idea came from a day in my life but to make it interesting I had to take other things from different parts of my life and then it changed a lot and was no longer resembled anything about me at all and now <laughs> suddenly I'm living this life of this girl and I think that that could be good in some ways that now I'm a little bit more sympathetic to her but I'm also just like angry with her because of the, her, the dating and family stuff that she's going through and one of the things that I have to change back right now it takes place over two days I really want it to be one day I love movies like American Graffiti and um, uh, Dazed and Confused where they take place in one night basically and I love that so I really want to make this a one day morning night kind of film um, it's difficult to do that but I feel like I can do it like I have it in me it just needs to come out and I need to trust myself more I think that's the main takeaway is to trust my gut and just go with it it's gonna take longer than I had originally planned <laughs> I wanted to be shooting um, by now I wanted ideally to be halfway done shooting <laughs> but it's not happening it's gonna be another summer so hopefully I'm I don't know it, it's sort of this month that I've come to this conclusion of doing it on my own which is really scary and it's just going back to the drawing board essentially going back to that original script and taking what I've done in the past year and just sort of reworking it to be me so I don't have to do it. yeah it's just a lot but it'll be good <laughs> um, yeah so we'll see <laughs> so it's kind of just where I've been um, it sucks like I definitely want to continue to document this whole process of making a movie but a lot of it is just I don't know right now it's just been writing and now I'm gonna continue to write and it's just yeah it was scary thinking of how I was going to be my dreams are gonna be actualized and now it's scary thinking that it's not going to happen. Um, but I'll make it work. It'll happen. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been at. I yeah, I've just been working a lot and not <laughs> focusing on my movie. But that's all gonna change. I'm gonna be working a lot. And focusing on my movie I gotta it's all changing so yeah I will talk to you guys later I hope that your projects are going way better than mine and yeah all right bye guys